Hey everyone, Kyle here. So, today we are back in Duelist. Uh, I uh, don't have a big collection because of having not played for like a bazillion years. Uh, but I kind of put together the old Sabotage deck. I'm sure there's probably some ways to update this even more to make it better in the current meta, but as of right now I'm still running pretty much the same deck I used to be with a few changes. Um, we got the three, we got Science First Wish, Healing Mystic, Jaxi, and Primus Fist are our 9-2 drops. I don't even know if that's still the thing. I remember back when it used to be like, you need 9 or 12 2 drops to be any good. I'm assuming it is, but we'll see. Um, like, I don't know if I should have, like, should I be having packs in here? I don't know. Um, I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> um, I'm running to Rasha's Curse. I haven't been seeing a whole ton of artifacts though but at the same time the I have needed it quite often I don't know if maybe this should even be a three of at this point or if I need a trap decay to be a three of but uh I I don't know but uh Rush's curse has been serving me well I kind of feel like maybe I want another Rush's curse instead we have 14 two drops uh, of course none of them are minions so maybe I don't I just let me know if you have any suggestions at all um, we got three of the second wish two sojourner for card draw uh, three dual tests, three Entrapped Decay, and now we got this, well, maybe for you guys it's not new, but for me it's new, Inquisitor Cron, a card that did not exist back when I was playing last time. Um, he seems super good, like, very good. I love this card, this card is amazing. We still have the three Scarabs, the two Senrui, the Armaya Healers, and the Dominate Wills. The deck's doing fairly well, granted, um, because I haven't been playing for a long time, I am down in silver. So... We are going to work on getting out of silver now. Let's respond. Let's check this out. Uh, how's the food? <laughs> uh, I just got feeding dinner. Uh, uh, Necre, I believe is how he's going to pronounce his name. Uh, me and him are going to be working on some stuff that I'm not going to say anything about because I don't know uh, if I'm supposed to. But uh, we'll see how it goes. It's going to be fantastic. I really wish I had a two drop that wasn't a spell, but I'm going to throw these two guys back here. Um, and hope for one. I still don't have one, so this is looking pretty bad for us, actually. Um, hopefully it won't be totally garbage. Ooh, yeah, that's not good. Let's go ahead and just give the, uh, sad... The sadness here. Oh, there it is. Because of not having anything to do. Uh... But, uh, regardless. So, here we go. I mean, even next turn we don't have anything to do. This is really uh, a poor situation to be in, honestly. This deck doesn't often miss its early drops, but occasionally when it does, it is extremely bad for us. Huh. Now I'm assuming... Is this... At the end of your turn... Oh! This is not what it used to do. So I'm used to this card being... Uh, that it makes Shadow Creep when it dies. Apparently it does not do that anymore. That is extremely interesting. Um, I don't... We have a chance to get overdrawn. If I play the Sojourner and then I buff it with Scion's First Wish, we are going to draw a card, and then if he's attacked by anything, we are going to have a problem of overdrawing. But at the same time, it's probably best, right, that we block this Mana Crystal at least... I guess what we could do... Uh, well, now we have no choice. We might as well just buff it. So this is a pretty bad opening for us, because we have a chance to burn a lot of cards here. However, it seems like games still never go to the point where you're top decking. Um, or not top decking, but you're getting into fatigue. Uh, I don't know what you call it in this game. So I'm not too worried about it. Uh, wow. That is crazy. Alrighty, so this needs to go away. Um, oh, Shadow Creep doesn't work the way it used to, does it? I like that. I like that a lot more, because it used to be a big pain in the butt. Like, hardcore. Um, Alright, so I want to steal as much from her as I can in terms of mana. If I walk up here... We 
still not able to do exactly what I want. What do we want to do here? Um, Rasha's curse just to kill this seems bad. However, I do want to get rid of that creature right there. I don't know if this is okay or not, but I want to go ahead and stop this generation of Shadow Creep. So we're going to do that. Um, play this down here, and then we'll just attack her for two. Draw a card here. I definitely feel like I could have played that a lot better. But we have our second Rasha's Curse now. So we'll try to save that, if possible, for any type of artifact that might come out. Now, the Shadow Creep decks, I haven't played against one since I got back into the game, which has only been, I think today is the second or third day, maybe. Um, so I'm really not sure what to expect at all. So we're going to lose one card. That is a card that uh, isn't too bad to lose, because right now we are more worried about getting things to threaten her. I see, yeah, so Shadow Creep is a lot different than it used to be. Okay, so I'm a much bigger fan of the new system. By far. Let's see, so let's go ahead and throw down... Kron over here. And then we'll cycle out one of our cards. Um, I'm not actually sure which one I want to cycle, though, to be honest. As bad as it is, maybe Rasha's Curse is the one to cycle out here. There we are. So we still didn't get a drop that I wanted. I don't want to attack her for no reason because she does have Abyssal Scar available. So I'm just going to pass the turn off. With the second wishes in our hand, though, we have a potential for a lot of potential damage here. That's unfortunate. It is going to take basically her whole turn, though. So things could have been a lot worse. Yeah, this is just not looking too good for us at the moment. Um, so what is our play? I do think I'm going to go ahead and kill this Wraithling. Um, see where this Jaxie ends up. Well, that's a good place for it. Um, granted, I think she will have this available, won't she? Intrepid Decay maybe isn't what we want in our hand right now, but at the same time, I'm more worried about not having something to do. So I'm just going to play Jaxie down and pass. We got another Entropic Decay. So maybe the three Entropic Decays is not what we want in this deck. Because this is definitely not the first game that I have had them, a bunch of them in my hand. My opponent isn't spending their turns just playing big things. Well, I mean, there is a big thing. So. But at this point, it's more like we would want to see... Um... Like a Dominate Will, which we do not see in our hand here. So we'll Entropic Decay this card. That's alright with me. Now, it comes down to what we want to do with this guy. I'm not super worried about him. I don't, that, that could be completely wrong. But I'm going to go ahead and move the... Man. No... We're gonna we're gonna get aggressive. We're just gonna attack. I feel like if we're going to have any chance at winning this, we basically need to force our opponent's hand right now. And we have lots of potential uh, for burst next turn with the premises we just drew and the second wish in our hand. As long as we have a minion left, our Iron Dervish is going to die to the Shadow Creep. But that is the only thing that will die to Shadow Creep this turn. I'm assuming that we're dead. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, we are. So that is unfortunate. I should have I well played, but uh, because I wasn't expecting anything like that, I didn't say anything. Uh, some people say well played just to make you leave. Alright, so that wasn't good. We now kind of idea what to expect from Shadow Creep decks. And not getting any of our two drops early game was pretty bad for us. Um, but we can definitely come around with this. We can definitely do this. We'll do at least one more game. Um, I would like to do more, but at the moment, I don't want to spend 
I don't want to make it too long. Bird 08. So this will probably be like some kind of structure deck, I'm assuming. Um, this hand is pretty good. I'll go ahead and hold on to it. Um, we can use Zenrui to steal any type of uh, obelisk if we really need to. And at the same time, we can also... Uh, I mean, I guess that's about it, actually. <laughs> obelisk, there's a lot of the minions I see in this deck have like three attack. Alright. We'll just open up with Jaxi. Always a solid uh, minion to throw out. That way, even if it somehow gets owned, we... Uh, We'll have something on the board. He's thinking extremely hard. I will say I'm very much enjoying my time back with this game. It has been extremely fun. Pax is alright. Not too worried about it. I'm going to go ahead and just play the Sojourner and kill this. I'm going to play Sojourner over here. Um, because I, I want Pax to be tempted to attack it and draw me a card. But I don't want... I want to keep it around. Okay, perfect. So it did work out just as I wanted, and there is another Zenrui, which will be very solid against this opponent uh, if he starts playing more things that we want to steal. And this deck does like to steal things. With the uh, with both of these first wishes in our hand too, we can make these minions that we have on the board a lot more useful. There's an obelisk, perfect. Is that perfect? I don't think it's perfect. All right. Okay, that was fine. It can't kill the Jaxi. I think I might actually go ahead and just move. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and just move Jaxi closer so that I can Zen Rui this. I think it's potentially what I'm going to do. The only problem with that is the fact that we won't be able to... Actually, yeah, we will. We, we can do it just fine. So we're going to go up here, we're going to cast Zen Rui, we're going to steal this from him. And then we're going to end up burning a card here, but I'm totally okay with that. We're actually going to end up burning two cards here. But the board control is a lot more important. Now, is there any card here we don't want right now? Um, not Maybe the Mystic, um, just to potentially something we don't want to burn in our hand. We did burn a Healer, though, which is extremely bad. So that is unfortunate, but it's okay. It looks like we, we are only going to end up burning one more card at worst. Siphon Energy, totally fine. The fact that he's having to waste that on a minion that we stole basically for free from him makes me not a sad panda at all. And we still have our second Zen Rui. In which case, we can uh, steal something else. He's going to burn one more card. What is it? Our second healer. That is a little unfortunate. <laughs> we have to win this game without healers. Uh, well, we have one more healer. So that's not horrible. We'll see what we can do. Alright, plus two, plus two. It's just going to trade evenly, so that's not even that bad for us, honestly. And another one. So we're going to go ahead and steal that. And there's absolutely no reason not to steal that. Um, you know? Just try to mess up his synergy a little bit. Go ahead and pass the turn back over to him. And now we have a Dominate Will in our hand, which is going to be two turns uh, from now that we can use it. But at least it gives us an option. Does he have another Siphon in his hand? Oh, Intrepid Decay. So no, All right, so we pretty much have this game in the bag at this point because he's going to be top decking basically starting right now which is fine with me excellent so I'm gonna move forward and go ahead and kill this dervish and I'm gonna hit him Jaxi can shoot and then I'm going to play I wanna play the scarab to be honest but I think it might be better yeah we're gonna play the scarab like uh over here maybe no, up top should be fine. I'll play it in the middle, though, so they can kind of get wherever we need it to. And then we'll go ahead and buff our range minion draw card. I probably should have drew first if I was going to draw at all, but it's it's fine. Um, I wasn't about to send Rui at first, but he would die to a general attack anyways. So I don't see any reason to do that. The summon at will is going to be potentially useful um, now that our opponent has exhausted a lot of resources.
That's okay. There we go. Okay, so. Not too bad of a turn for us. I'm actually surprised he didn't kill Zenrui because now... Well, he conceded. Alright. <laughs> okay, I would have given him them well played, but he uh, conceded out of nowhere. Let's go ahead and give him a tip. Uh, let's do one more. I think let's go ahead and just do one more because that was pretty short, I feel. And I would much rather get another game in than leave it at that. Lionar. Alright, so Lionar is potentially a good matchup for us. Hmm. I definitely think a Tropic Decay against Lionar is great. I'm kind of tempted to hold on to all of these because keeping a Dominate Will around is always good against this faction. But it's so far away, and we have three. Well, there we go. <laughs> uh, let's recycle that again. Alright. It took us a couple tries, but we finally got another card in our hand that is not Dominate Will. Hopefully that doesn't mean that later we're not going to see one. If it comes to it. This is, uh, whatever his name is. I forget. Agron or whatever. <laughs> yeah, Ar Arjon. Arjon? Ar Argon? I don't know how to exactly pronounce it, but he is definitely one of the more aggressive guys we'll be facing. We can kill this. I think I'm going to go ahead and do exactly that as well. Um, if we play this here, yeah, that's not great for us. Yeah, there's no way for us to... I'm trying to think there's a way for us to summon both of these guys this turn. We would have to summon the Primus Fist up here. Yeah, we w Jaxi would have to walk onto one of them in order to do that. So I think maybe we should cycle the Sojourner and look for another play, which we didn't get. So let's just go ahead and kill this guy and worry about that some other time. It has to be adjacent, right? You have a nearby friendly minion. He's going to have access to both of these next turn, which is fine. Let's go ahead and just do this here. At least our Jaxi's in a good place. And I'll end my turn there. So we have Intrepid Decay now. Um, it's not really a card that I want to be playing on 4 mana because it's going to be consuming our entire turn. I also actually need to be switching cards around to look for my Rasha's Curses in case an Arclight Regalia comes out of our opponent anytime soon. Okay, well... This might be a good time to go ahead and use that on Tropic Decay, though I'd rather, I'd much rather save it. Our other option is Primus Fist again and attacking into that, but our problem there is I won't be able to move and therefore won't be able to use mana to our full potential. However, in Tropic Decay does the same exact problem, where we would use it and then we wouldn't have any more mana regardless. That is unfortunate. So I think one of these Dioltas we're going to go ahead and cycle out. That is much better, actually. Because then Primus Fist will survive. So I think this is going to be our play. Oh, he won't be able to move. That's right. So we can buff this. So it doesn't take damage from generals. And we can give it the buff from our Primus Fist. And this will let it kill that. Um, however, I think I'm going to stay here just for the sake of having access to all of the... Having access to either mana tile this turn. This turn coming up. We do have a slight card advantage over... Um, he can't damage that. I don't think he realized exactly what he was doing. A bit unfortunate for our opponent, to say the least. I have noticed that. I've, I'm feeling like Second Wish isn't a card that's seeing play right now. Because I am consistently seeing opponents do exactly what that guy just did. Where they are attacking something that has Second Wish on it. And it's not... Obviously, they're not taking any damage. Um, I want to lock him down here, so I'm going to go ahead and just play Corn, and then I guess I'll cycle Healing Mystic. 
Which one did we get? We got Provoke. That's okay. Uh, I'm also going to go ahead and just shoot the Primus Fist there. Oh, we could get our Hero Power, though, if I walk up. Oh, we'll walk down to this one. Since we have more minions in the... We have two Provoke minions in the way of the other one. And now we're sitting on uh, Dominate Will, which will be solid, because there's a good chance... Right now, we just have a lot of control in our hand. But we need to make sure that we're continuing to get value uh, compared to our opponent. Because he is sitting with more cards in hand than us. And with the Seer Power available, he could buff the Primus Fist and attack with his General in order to kill Korn. Kron? I keep calling him Korn, don't I? Kron. Uh, when I see capital K-R-O-N, my brain just thinks of the band Korn because they also had capital A. Holy Emulation is okay with me. It's not obviously a good thing for us, but at the same time, I would much rather see our opponent... I'd much rather see our opponent um, being forced to use that card. Do we kill the Jaxi now is the other question. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I want to kill the Jaxi right now. I think I'm just going to play a Scarab. Possibly over here. I should have played it before I moved. Well, let's see where this goes. Yeah, I'm not going to kill this Jaxi. Okay, this is better. This will potentially block him from being able to do anything. We'll play it here. This should be a good spot. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and play the Scarab. We have a healer in our hand, which is going to be fantastic. Um, hopefully, he'll be forced to use some type of hard removal, like uh, Martyrdom, or maybe he'll Sunbloom the Scarab, for example. And then when we play the healer, he won't have a great answer for it. Okay, that was a pretty good answer by our opponent, actually. A bit unfortunate for us. I think I'm going to just Entropic Decay... Um, the swords here. There's no reason not to do that. And we'll just trade Jaxies at this point. Interesting. Why did I think I had more mana than that? Well, that's unfortunate. I guess we're just going to end our turn. Um, I guess the mana switch is over. Well, that would... Oh my gosh. That was a... So, I didn't realize that your mana updates right before your opponent actually ends their turn. So I saw myself sitting at 7 already and just assumed that that meant that I was going to have um, that this next turn coming up I was going to have um, 8 mana and turns out that that is actually incorrect. So I'll go ahead. This is why we wanted to keep Dominate Will around because now we can take the Iron Cliff Guardian from him. But we're not in a great spot. This, this this could easily go bad for us, depending on what his hand looks like. Because I don't have the cards I really wish I had. Looks like he has a Repulsor Beast. It could be worse. Um, if he just attacks me here, then we can kill that next turn. Yeah, so it looks like right now he's just going for straight aggression. Which is a good play for him. But we have a way to deal with it, especially since he just walked away from this. Bring the Guardian back. I'm going to go ahead and use a Primus Fist to kill the uh, Silver Guard Knight. Um, I'm going to attack this, and then we'll play a healer down and summon our hero power and see how we do. Um, at the moment, I think a Deoltis is not going to be what we're looking for, so I'm going to cycle her out. And we got her back anyways. I really want to find Rasha's Curse in case some type of game-changing artifact comes out of our opponent. I also really should have played the healer in front of him to try to convince him if he had some way to silence her to move backwards towards the uh, our Iron Cliff Guardian. So that was another mistake by me. But with another healer in our hand and some card draw, we do have the potential to find a way out of this situation. And we have 11, 12 damage on the board, uh, well, 10 on the board and, or 11 on the board, 1 in our hand. So even if he, say, just kills a 2-2 here somehow, um, uh, we're not in a horrible position.
Grandmaster Zeer. Now that is not a card we wanted to see. However, we are going to be able to kill it. Which is good. Because uh, we don't want him to turn into Grandmaster Zeer, of course. So I am going to go ahead and kill it. Can we kill it? We can, but I have to take some damage too, is the problem. Let's replace this again. I should have done that first. Um, it turns out to be fine, so we'll attack for two. Um, we will draw a card here. Jaxi's not really what we want. Then I'll attack Zier, then we'll play a healer, and I'll go ahead and throw a mini Jaxi above him. So we didn't have a way to deal with the healer last turn, so here's hoping that he can't deal with this one either. The only issue now is if he has another Zier in his hand and we kill it, um, or, and we attack it with a healer, okay. That's not horrible. He would still have to have a way to do damage. To, he, has, he needs five more damage to kill us. And that is not five damage. Um, however, is he able to escape... Hmm, he's able to get away from the Guardian, which is a bit of a problem. Definitely a bit of a problem. So we're going to have to throw the Sojourner away here, because it's not going to be helping us at all. Oh, he conceded. He actually... Oh, no, because he attacked me. That was a mistake by our opponent. So attacking me actually put him down into lethal. And we're going to take that game. So I'm going to go ahead and stop here. Uh, we got three Young Flame Wings. That's fine, I guess. Cool. So I'm going to go ahead and stop recording here. I'm laddering a lot off camera to try and get back up to Diamond like I should be. Um, so hopefully we can work on that. Also, I definitely want to try to get into S rank for the first time. It's been hard for me just because I do have to work a lot of hours um, outside of of YouTube because I obviously this isn't my job. Um, so it's hard for me to get an S rank. I can I can get a diamond pretty convincingly, but that is about it. Also, for now, it's looking like man, I haven't played for so long. Uh, what is our history? Yeah, so I guess I just didn't play. I stopped playing the game. I didn't play it all in April for some reason. So this, <laughs> so it looks like I kind of got upset in March for some reason. I didn't play in April at all. Came back, liked the game a lot. Oh, I think it's because I I missed Hearthstone, so I went back to play Priest, and then it got messed up, and I came back here. We, we, we've gotten a diamond twice, and then the same thing happened happened in March where I started to fall off, and I went down to gold. So we'll see. Um, it seems like three is my highest, so our goal is to get as close to S as possible. Did I say legend? As close to S as possible this season. And uh, start looking at this game a lot more seriously. So let me know what you guys think. Also, I played for eight seasons, but I only see seven here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so it doesn't even make sense if they include the ones that aren't here. So I'm not exactly sure how I played. One, two, three, six, seven. Yeah, I don't know. Eight seasons, though. Oh, um, I was here before they started keeping track, so maybe they just added one in for those people. I'm not entirely sure. But there we are. Oh, man, I love me some Vitruvian. I played Magmar and Abyssian. Oh, great. I'm just glad to be back in this game, to be honest with you guys. Um, and we're doing good. So, yeah, excellent. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Duelist is back. We're going to be wrecking people with with uh, Sabo, Sabotage. I found out there's a new card called Sabo something, whatever, that um, is garbage. And people, when I say Sabo, think of that new card. But I'm not using that card. And sometime in the future, when I'm able to uh, work on it, I'll try to get a bigger collection of cards so that we can do more things besides Sabotage Vitruvian. But I'm going to be playing that for now. All right. Again, I'll see you guys tomorrow.